I want to share a, a bit of additional updates before uh, for all of you before we start. I know some of all, some of you have been trying to confirm some of this information that I'm about to share, so I'll do it, it right now at the podium. The president has connected with Leader Jeffries, Senate Majority Leader Schumer, Representative Clyburn, former Speaker Pelosi, and Senator Coons. Today, President uh, Biden taped two black radio interviews that will air tomorrow morning. One is with Earl Ingram on Civic Media Network, which airs across Wisconsin, and one with Andrea Lawful Sanders on WURD's The Source in Philadelphia. And as Governor Waltz of Minnesota announced today, the president will meet with more than 20 Democratic governors. Now, as you know, these governors are some of our closest partners when it comes to creating jobs, building new roads and building bridges and so much more. And so the president certainly looks forward to meeting with them. And with that, I am happy uh, to take your questions. Song Min. Um, last night at the fundraiser, um, the president blamed jet lag for his uh, debate performance, um, but he was back stateside for well over a week, so does he really need more than a week and a half to recover from 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 traveling in Europe, and did he really, is that really what he thinks caused his poor performance? So, yeah, just a couple of things, and I do appreciate the question because you, you know, the president has certainly spoken to this many, many times about the debate, and so he had an opportunity to do that in front of supporters, and I just, as you just stated, he did that. He, he talked about, he owned that the debate was not his best night, uh, and it, and he said himself, it's not an excuse, but it's an explanation. I was standing here yesterday, and many people were asking why and what's the explanation, and that's what you heard from him. Look, the two, I think, um, in addition to the two major trips, uh, he was also uh, doing, continued to do his presidential duties. He worked late in doing that, and he also prepared for the debate. And on top of that, there was obviously the jet lag, as you just asked, uh, asked about, and also he had a cold. And you all heard directly, you heard, you heard from him during the debate, he had a hoarse voice. Many of you reached out to me and my team and some other members uh, of the White House asking what was going on. We confirmed that he had a cold. And so I think those two things, continuing obviously to do his duties as commander in chief, as the president. And so I think uh, some of you here in this room can certainly relate uh, to, you know, what 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 could happen when you're having an important moment and you're not feeling well and yeah and also you wish you could have done better and uh, so he took ownership I think that's important uh, and he's going to continue to make a strong case for his agenda and that's what you're going to see uh, and he was given an explanation and that's what he wanted to do he wanted to get that out there and for people to hear directly from him as he has been doing since since Friday of last week there, I know you're calling it an explanation, not an yeah. excuse, but it does seem like there are new excuses since the debate of what no, went wrong there. I, I would say I don't think it's a new excuse. I think some of you, some of your colleagues reached out to us about the schedule. They, some of your colleagues asked if the, if the schedule was too strenuous or was it because of the jet lag. Uh, and, so, and so we, we are laying out uh, and explaining exactly what happened. You heard from the president. You've heard from me. And it was, you know, indeed a... a, a a schedule where you know the president traveled six time zones forward to G7 in Italy, nine time zones back to, to LA, and three time zones uh, forward again to, to DC. That's something that one of the, the print pooler on that day uh, laid out for for uh, for all of you and and those who who reach who read the pool notes. And uh, and on top of that, he did have a cold. So it is an explanation. I don't think it is an addition. I don't think it's. We, we certainly don't want to explain this away, uh, but you all asked me for an explanation yesterday. The president gave that uh, directly uh, uh, yesterday to his supporters. He wanted to make sure, knowing that all of you would get that information as he's speaking to his, support, his supporters last night. Sure. You mentioned all the calls that he has made in your topper. Why wasn't he doing that on Friday? And why wasn't yeah. he doing this sort of damage control? Why was he waiting on doing that, waiting to do that until middle of this week? I mean, look, I, um, I, I was asked a similar question by one of your colleagues yesterday. Uh, and look, you know, the president obviously right after the debate, he visited four states in two and a half days, gave a couple of remarks. He met with uh, supporters, whether at the Waffle House or uh, in Atlanta at a watch party or in North Carolina, where there were hundreds of supporters there in, um, in Raleigh. And so he was busy um, dealing with, uh, you know, dealing with his schedule and also uh, speaking directly and engaging 
uh, with his supporters and then spend time with his family. I think what's important is that he has done this outreach. He's having these conversations. Uh, it is important to him uh, to do so. And the folks that I laid out uh, that he uh, spoke to are, are, or some of them have been his colleagues. Uh, some of them have been uh, elected officials that he's known for some time. Obviously, uh, you know, uh, uh, Leader Jeffries is a new relationship that he has, uh, someone that he obviously respects. And, and so, you know, it is, uh, I think it's important to note that uh, they were strong conversations. That's something that the President told me and my team directly moments ago. He's, he was walking around and we happened to see the President and he said they were strong conversation. And by the way, he looks great. The Vice President's great. And they are ready to continue working on, beh on behalf of the American people.